Hello friends! So in this video I'm going to show you how I made this petticoat. So you're going to need your choice of fabric. You can use tulle, netting, organza, whatever you want to use. For this video I got six yards of soft netting. Hello? Shut up! You're also going to need some fabric to use for your underskirt. For this, I used about half a yard of some broadcloth that I had just sitting at home. And lastly, you're going to need some 3 8 inch elastic, about three times your waist. First, you're going to need two measurements. You're going to need your waist measurement and your desired length. Next, take your waist measurement and double it. Then take your length and cut it in half. This will be the top half of your petticoat. The tool doesn't show up well on camera, but your piece should look something like this. You'll need to have one of these per layer that you plan to have. I'll be making five. Next, you'll need another rectangle twice the length of the top one. Which should look like this. This will be the bottom half of your petticoat. You'll need one of these per layer as well. So the first thing you'll need to do is gather the longer piece to half its length so that it matches the shorter rectangle. You can do this by hand or by sewing a basting stitch across the top and pulling the bobbin thread. Doing this with a machine can be a bit tricky so it might be a better idea to do it by hand. Be warned though, this is kind of a long process. Spread out the gathering so that it's more evenly spaced. Once you have this gathered, place it right sides together with a smaller rectangle. Pin together and sew with a straight stitch and half inch seam allowance. Next, fold the whole thing in half and stitch it closed with a straight stitch and a half inch seam allowance. The next step is optional, but for more security, fold down the seam allowance and stitch it down with a straight stitch. This will make one layer of your petticoat. Repeat this process for as many layers as you plan to have. Next, we're going to make a gathered skirt for the underskirt. You'll need a rectangle that is one and a half times your waist measurement by your desired length. For this, I'm using two pieces just to save fabric. Fold this rectangle in half and sew it closed with a straight stitch and a half inch seam allowance. Now roll hem the bottom. Place each of the layers within one another, like this. Pin each of the layers together. Sew a basting stitch and gather all five layers so that it matches up with the underskirt.
Pin all layers together and sew with a straight stitch. Cut a waistband one and a half times your waist measurement, or the same length as your underskirt, plus one inch for seam allowance, by five inches. Fold each side in half an inch, and the whole waistband in half. Iron this to keep in place. Unfold the waistband, then fold down the center and sew it closed with a straight stitch. Place the right side of the waistband to the wrong side of the skirt. Sew this together with a straight stitch and a half inch seam allowance. Fold the waistband back down and sew a straight stitch one half inch from the top fold, leaving a few inches open to pull elastic through. Sew around the waistband again, half an inch from the first seam. Then sew one more seam, a half inch below the last, making sure to leave a few inches open on all three. Fold under the edge of the waistband and top stitch it down, leaving a few inches open. Measure elastic around your waist so that it is snug but not too tight. Cut two more pieces of the same length. Pull each piece through the channels. Sew each of the ends together. And then sew the channels closed. And you're done! Here's what the finished petticoat looks like. Here it is under a skirt, which I will leave a link to in the description down below. And just for comparison, here's the same skirt made but with hard netting. And here's that one underneath the skirt as well. And here's both of those petticoats stacked up.
watching. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below and subscribe for more. And I'll be back for soon later. Thanks for watching.